the first thing I see, I don't see the paintings. No matter what kind of paint, you know, what famous artist it's going to be, my first look is the frame. That's like a, <laughs> you know, that's. When I came here, you know, that was like, you know, I grabbed the job wherever I could, you know, I, I was working in a jewelry company in Massachusetts, you know. Do profile like this, raw wood. But usually I order this thing, you know, whatever I need, I order from the guy who, who has the big machine, he milled the, the wood for me. So, you know, that, and that's how I get him then from him. What time? No. Steve, for this. All right. You get the order, the customer. You get a cut to the size and join this frame. And we carve. If frame, you know, require carving, we have to carve. Tools we are using for carvings. Different, different shape depends. You know what you need, what you need to carve on the frame. You know, Swiss, the best steel. You know, just eliminate those. Some pieces of wood and oh, so you know how this thing works. And then we can get a, another piece or whatever, different. Ugly looking, but sort of like a flower, you know. <laughs> Here we go, whatever. But you know, doing this, you know, is is completely different story. Templates, you just you know, yeah, the templates, you know, you draw, the, the oh. then you draw, and then you can carve, you know. So, but you know, sometimes you have to do by your eye only, you know. Uh, antique frames, you know, people collect them right now, you know. <laughs> but special frames, I, I stamp it, you know, I just put my stamp. So that way, you know, it could be unique. Because this one has some carving, so you know, not much, but some. So you have to smooth it out with the sandpaper. This thing has to be very, very smooth, but you have to be careful. You can, you don't, have, you don't want to take off everything from the frame. Frames, they, they need some imperfection because they made by hand. So they, they you don't want to have frame like this looking like you know made by machine, perfect, you know, like a computer. <laughs> Even with the carvings or whatever, you know, you, you cannot find two same corners on the frame, two same areas, you know. There's a mixture of clay with the rabbit skin glue. And rabbit skin glue, that's the thing that makes gold stick to the frame. So thin. It's flying like that. <laughs> 3 carat or 12 carat, which is white gold, and 18 carat. Uh, lemon gold and also I'm using 16 karat pale gold so those are different little bit different colors and look at this there is nothing it's pretty much the area where you want to put the leaf you gotta make wet you gotta water there's this is water with alcohol using a brush like this made from a uh, camel hair you're getting the leaf on this thing you have the area where you want to put the leaf on the frame and sticking is on the frame then you're getting another leaf you have to open very very careful put the frame wet you're not laying the leaf actually war is that you know, is making the leaf sticking to the frame. You know? So, that's the pretty much idea. It's still wet. You pretty much cannot, you cannot touch anywhere because if you're going to touch it, you can destroy that. You can take off the gold. When frame in, in gold is completely dry, you have to make some areas on the frame shine. This is exactly so using tool like this, agate stone, polished agate stone, special, you know, special shape. And you're using this thing on some areas to make the coat to be shiny. You gotta go place by place on the frame. It's 
so many galleries in Boston and Cape Cod, uh, mm -hmm. all over the, you know, New England, in New York, Connecticut, you know, Texas, Arizona. And we were doing so many frames. And actually that was like, you know, no matter what you did, everything was gone. You know, people were calling like crazy. Did you have anything extra? Did you have this size? I said, I have, but I don't know if you're going to like it. doesn't matter. I need a frame. Mm. Because even those guys, the artists, whatever they put on the wall in the galleries, the, everything was gone, 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 gone like this. But now, this is actually a luxury item. Yeah. George Lucas bought the painting and with the frame, with my frame on it. When I went to the museum, when they have the, uh, the second famous uh, Leonardo da Vinci painting, this thing is separate from the people you know, oh, it's very secure and <laughs> stuff. I was looking at the frame. <laughs> what kind of frame is on, the, on this painting? No, I, I didn't look on the, on the, on the, on the painting. <laughs> and then after that, I see, oh, nice painting. <laughs>